Welcome back everybody to another installment of Blooms for You. Let's take a break from Dendrobium Hibiki, shall we? I know, it's hard. It's a beautiful orchid, flushing out amazingly. But I just thought I'd give it a rest. Because look at this. How about this? As this installment's dedication as a thank you to all my subscribers for supporting the channel, showing up in comments, the quiet ones. I really appreciate having you. I really, really do. So, this is my cat Leah Sagarik Wax African Beauty. And what a beauty. I, I, um, I find it difficult to stay focused again. No surprises there then. But she has gone nuts on me this year and it's very much appreciated nine blooms all opened at the same time they are now three days old but I have to say that unfortunately the camera is not pitting, picking up the depth of the Bordeaux deep rich color it, it's um I mean it's pretty from what I can see on my screen no two ways about it but it's not, it's not the real thing. This is dark stuff. And I was discussing with Danielle from Danielle's Orchid Ranch about fragrances and how everybody detects a fragrance in a different manner. And we were talking about, you know, it's, it's a color that can trigger a memory or a flavor. And then possibly the brain picks that up and says, oh, that's what it smells like. So maybe that's the difference in how we detect fragrances. I do not know, but I can tell you what she smells like to me. Port wine. And by the color of those blooms, I am taken back to the comment with Danielle. And if I'm smelling port wine, it's because she has that color in the petals and sepals. And they are fleshy, waxy, strong, gorgeous, glossy. Ah, everything, everything about this is just magic. The fragrance as well. I love port wine. I really do. My first port wine ever was in Portugal in Quinta do Lago at, uh, what is that hotel called? Isabella, I think it's called. Gorgeous. I had port wine. And I never look back. And this one reminds me of the port wine and the fragrance of the port wine. It's very difficult to walk away from this one, but there are other things that have been going on. And I have some subscribers to dedicate these blooms to. So these are for all of you watching this video for subscribing to my channel. Let's go and see what else is going on. My Phalaenopsis Yin's Black Eagle, Stefan Neha. This one is for you. The second bloom. Unfortunately, the first one faded away before this one fully opened. It would have been nice to have a little side by side on this one. It didn't happen. But I hope that you don't mind to take into ownership the second bloom. I want to say thank you very much for the conversations in the comment section. I love it. I really appreciate it. It's wonderful getting to know you. And I also like all the tips and, and hints and things to look out for that you mentioned there, especially when it comes to eBay selling. I did not see those comments until very, very late. I am extremely sorry about that. It's It's not if I can't figure it out. It's like I keep looking back to see if there's any other comments and replies and I guess I just miss them or they don't show up I don't know but eventually I'll get back to you and thank you so much for your patience and also uh, for being on my channel and subscribing I really appreciate it I think that one bloom of the yin's back eagle is probably all that we're ever going to get on this Orchid for now, she is obviously still quite young. This is her first spike. Or maybe she's just doing us all a favor because if you get doubles of these, 
I don't know if we can handle it. <laughs> but yeah, she is very beautiful. It's also possible we only ever get one bloom because the fragrance would be just too much goodness in one go. It's possible. One bloom and on, on its own right makes you feel like you're walking into a candy shop. It, it, it's absolutely penetrating. And I like fragrances like that, so I don't mind it. And I'm outside in the fresh air, but I know who's playing. I know who's playing when I'm out and about doing my little orchid duties. It's this one. This one, maybe also just one bloom at a time because otherwise we would probably be having a queue outside our door thinking that we're selling candy. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This second bloom actually also has a tinge of green on the bottom that I did not see in the first one. And there's a little bit more pronounced color differentiation with the white and the yellow. Maybe we can't handle the beauty of two blooms on one spike at the same time and the orchid knows it. <laughs> so thank you Stefan ever ever so much for being here, for supporting the channel, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. Cicadas, summer, and neos. What's not to like? This is just awesome. So the first spike is already done, unfortunately. The second spike, as you can see, Holding on to three blooms on its way out soon. But look, Jonathan Nell. Thank you very much. And for that reason, I would like to give my third Neo spike to you. I have difficulty getting all my spikes to bloom at the same time. It's a shame, but a third spike, at least this way, I suppose I can divide them up amongst my subscribers and Jonathan Nell, I would like to dedicate this third spike to you. And maybe uh, a little gawk at these roots that are doing absolutely lovely. But yeah, the third spike, Jonathan, thank you so very, very much for being so supportive to my channel, for subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I know that in some of these videos, it all sounds repetitive, but that's what these videos are about to repeat the thank yous that, and the appreciation and maybe looking at some pretty blooms at the same time. So this Neo has still got quite the potent fragrance which starts for me actually early afternoon. Sometimes I also have a fragrance at noon but when it's hot like this and breezy then the Neo can't cope. But later on she will come out with her gorgeous lemony fragrance very, very much appreciated in the hot summer evenings. But it's a gorgeous little Neo. I love it. Maybe next year I will get four spikes because this fan is starting to mature and it has never actually bloomed for me. But who knows? For now, Jonathan, third spike Neo Falcata blooms for you and thank you so very, very much. When there is a Tolumnia in a cross, you can count on branching. So my Zalemnia Midas has done just that. It has branched out and given me another flush of blooms that I would like to dedicate to Laura Pore. I'm assuming Italian, P-O-O-R-E, Laura Pore, or Pori, I don't know. But Laura, you will know, you will know who you are. And I would like to say thank you so very, very much. Mille grazie, in case you are Italian. However, thank you very, very much for subscribing to my channel. So my little Zelemnia Midas has given a second flush of blooms. These do not last very long. The first flush doesn't last very long, but the second flush, the branching, lasts even less time because I've lost a couple overnight prior to filming this, which was so surprising. I still had a bud to go, and I was quite surprised that they would drop this fast. So, minus two blooms, we've had a couple of branches, and Laura Pore, I give these branches to you. 
and say thank you so very, very much for being on my channel. A basket of beauty and gorgeousness. <laughs> Look at this, isn't this just the cutest sight ever? The fragrance coming out of this basket is absolutely divine. I love it. It's got the fuzzy apricotness about it. Warm apricots. And if you were to smell them, you've got that fuzzy thing going on in your nose. Exactly that. So Neo Phoenicia Rainbow Forest, possibly peaches, is now up to opening her fourth spike. And I'm going to try and do this by memory. R Z K M N R 69. I saw you subscribe. Something that I can't see every time. I don't understand why my list isn't as long as the subscriber count, supposedly. I have no idea. But as soon as I see a new name and comments, I write it into my list. As soon as I see somebody subscribe, I write it on my list and I am down a few numbers. So, just a side note, a tangent, while we stare at Rainbow Forest, if you have subscribed and, and, and haven't left a comment, I'm sorry, I'm not ignoring you. I can't, I don't, I don't see you, I don't know. So um, maybe you'll just say, hi, I'm here or something like that and let me know and then I can put you on the list. And then you may never have to comment again, but at least I know, uh, I don't want anybody to feel left out. This is taking its time as the orchids bloom but I do and I will get around to it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> R Z K M N R 69. Here we go. One spike, two spikes, three spikes. This fourth one is for you. So you never comment, but I saw that you did subscribe. You went on the list and here we are. And I hope that she is in focus because I cannot see diddly squat on my screen. But anyway, the fourth spike of my Neo Phoenicia Falcata, Rainbow Forest, supposedly peaches, oh, identity crisis, Neo. The fourth spike is still gorgeous and beautiful enough. In my opinion, the name is secondary because look at this. RZ. K M N R 69. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I hope you like the looks of my little Neo fourth spike, which blooms for you. Woohoo, I made it. I got my podangas, dactyloceras to bloom. Look, isn't this the cutest little thing ever? Oh my goodness, pardon my, pardon my burst of enthusiasm here. I am so happy. So, Rafael do Papa Capim, all I ever see from you is thumbs up and thumbs up and thumbs up and smiles and this and that and like. So, guess what? This little Podangas Dactyloceras blooms for you to say thank Thank you for your support and for the likes and the thumbs up. And we might not even understand each other. You might even not know what I'm talking about. But if you do see this video, I want you to know that thank you very much. Obrigado, I think. Obrigado is something maybe you might understand. But thank you very much. Rafael do Papa Capim. My Podangus Dactyloceras blooms for you and I am just going to hover a little bit longer on these cute little blooms. I never thought I would see the day and I got them because they grow in Kenya as well. I have never seen one in bloom but I have seen the orchid as such but never personally the blooms. <laughs> Pictures, yes. People always proudly showing their pictures and they are like little glass containers. So, so cute. I can't detect a fragrance, but there's a certain transparency about them. I just find them so adorable. They're like little white tadpoles. You know, I don't know if I want to be a Neo or a tadpole, one of the two. Oh, this is just making me so happy. 
I did it! I got one to bloom! Yay! She is in Lekka only and a semi-hydro setup. I'm expecting longish roots, that's why the container is one of those tall ones I have my Neos in. Expecting longish roots, but for now, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Also, Murano glass comes to mind, something hand blown. Oh, I better stop it. There are some other blooms that we have to look at. Rafael do Papa Capim, obrigado. I got this Phalaenopsis Cornu Servi variety Chatela Day just in time. We have a fading bloom. But look at these cheeky little faces. <laughs> a row of naughtiness staring back like they've been up to something. And you will never find out, but they're just the cheekiest little blooms. They are so cute. This is the fourth bloom. And Neil, that's N-E-E-L, this is the fourth bloom, and this one blooms for you. I cannot see any comments, Neil, I'm so sorry, I have no reference whatsoever. But maybe I don't always need a reference, I just prefer it. But in order to say thank you for your support, I don't really need a reference. But you have come across my page, you have jumped onto my list, and here you are with Phalaenopsis Cornu Servi, variety Chata La Day. Bloom number four. But just, just look at this. <laughs> These are the eyes. There's a little pink nose, maybe a little bit too much vino, cheeky grin, and a yellow hard hat. How is this not the naughtiest looking little plant ever? I mean, it's like, when you walk into a room, everybody stops talking, looks at you, and just grins away like, we haven't done anything, we haven't said anything. Anyway, I do get carried away. Um, Neil, thank you very much. I appreciate having you here, and I hope that you see this video. Orchidias, encantos, e natureza com a Cris. I hope that I made sense of that and pronounced it somewhat correctly. Orquídeas encantos e natureza com a Cris. That is the channel name that was so very kind to come and subscribe to my channel after Fernanda from Fernanda's Orchids and Succulents did a shout out on her video. Seems like a long time ago, but I guess the name of the channel owner is Chris and it is Portuguese. I am terrible at Portuguese. I only know how to order mais dos and obrigado, my favorite word, obrigado, yes. But anyway, Chris, if you see this, I really, really want you to know that I thank you so very much for jumping so quickly over after Fernanda mentioned me. I really appreciate it. So it is a bit windy, but I think that's giving these Dendrobium Gyrac horn blooms a bit of a bounce, which is actually not bad because the little curly whirlies, the tendrils there from the petals, that's amazing. Look at that. Look at the color of that lip. Chris, my Dendrobium Gyrac Horn blooms for you. Obrigado for being on my channel. Um, so that would be English Portuguese. <laughs> but thank you, obrigado. Thank you very much, Chris. I really appreciate having you here. But again, I was just sort of kind of focusing or pointing out the lip of this gorgeous orchid. I have to say, there's something about it, despite not having a fragrance, I think it is impressive for a first time spike. Orquídeas, encantos e natureza com a Cris. Obrigado.
it's a bright and colorful and full of fragrance summer absolutely magnificent what a blessing what a joy so i hope that you enjoyed this installment and once again from sagarig wax african beauty and myself thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you next time take care everybody bye